Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 63. We are in the process of dealing with fractions, decimals, and percentages, converting them back and forth. Today we're going to do a word problem. Here's the problem. Problem is already on the blackboard. It says a coin, we have a coin, a coin we are told consists of one quarter copper, one fifth nickel, and three eighth iron. We are told that the rest is silver. The question simply is what fraction or percentage is the silver? What I want you to do right now is to pause the video, do the problem yourself. Once you have done it, then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. I'll give you five seconds to do just that, that is to pause the video. Here we go. Alright, here's what we are told. We have copper. We have copper which we are told is one quarter. Then we have nickel which we are told is one fifth. Then we have iron which we are told is three eighth. The first thing we need to do is figure out what these constitute as the total, as, as a fraction, as a proportion of the total amount, the 100%. In other words, we need to add up these three fractions to see what they, what they add up to so that we can figure out the remainder, the remainder part which, has, which, we, which we are told the rest is silver. In order for us to be able to figure out, in order for us to be able to add these three fractions, we have to have a common denominator and preferably and preferably a least common denominator. The smaller the better. The least common denominator is also, also is what, what's known as the LCM. The least, for example, we know 4 and 8, the common denominator of 4 and 8 would be 8. 8 can be divided by 8 and four, 8 can be divided by 4. We have a 5 here which means 8 times 5 is the smallest uh, denominator that you're going to find, least common denominator rather, least common multiplier is what I meant to say, LCM, the least common multiplier. We need 40 at the bottom. How do we convert this 1 fourth at the 40 at the bottom? It's very simple. Multiply top and bottom by 10. Take the number and then multiply it by 10, top and bottom. In other words, we have taken 1 quarter and multiplied it by 1. 1 takes the form of 10 over 10. We have a 1 fifth here. We need a 40 at the bottom. Let's multiply top and bottom by 8. So that takes care of that part. We have 3 8 here. We need 40 at the bottom. Let's multiply top and bottom by 5. So that takes care of that part. Now all we have to do is simply add them up because they all have the same denominator, a denominator of 40. 4 times 10 is 40, 5 times 8 is 40. Let's add them up. So we have a common denominator of 40. Here we get 1 times 10 which is 10 plus 1 times 8 is going to be 8. And here we get 3 times 5 which is 15. 15, 15 plus 10 is 25. 15 plus 10 is 25. Another 10 would have been 35. We don't have a 35. We have a we won't have a 35, we don't have a 10 here, we have an 8 here. So instead of 35, it's going to be 33. It's going to be 33. Since they add up to 33 over 40, that implies that implies the silver, silver must be the leftover, which is 7 over 40. So there is our first answer. The question was, uh, what fraction is silver? The answer is 740th. The answer to that one is 740th. That part is done. Now they also want it in percentage. Question is how do we convert 748 into a percentage? We need the room, where can we do it? 748. We already have 748, we already did the work, so we can erase all of this thing. We don't need any of that. Let's find out what 748 is in terms of percentage. And we have done this we have done this many a times in the last few days, and we know now that whenever we have to convert a fraction into a percentage, our job should always be to convert the bottom, the denominator of the fraction, into a hundred or something that comes very, very close to hundred as quickly as possible. Question here is, what number times 40 is going to be 100 or something close to 100? We know, we know 40 times 2, we know 40 times 2 is 80. That's very simple. We also know that if we, uh, half of, if we take half of 40, if we take half of 40, half of 40 is 20. Of course. So 40 times 2 is 80 and half of 40 is 20. 
which means 40 times 2 and a half, 40 times 2 and a half should do the job. 40 times 2 and a half. So we're going to multiply top and bottom by 2 and a half. And when we do that, at the bottom, we'll end up with 40 times 2 and a half, which we just found is exactly 100. It's exactly 100. And now we have to figure out 7 times 2 and a half. We're going to do it here, just like we did here, 7 times 2 and a half. 7 times 2 and a half is simply 7 times 2, which is 14, plus 7 halves, or well, 7 halves, 7 halves. You see 7 times half is 7 half, which is simply 3 and a half. 7 halves are 3 and a half, because 3 is going to have 6 halves, because each one has 2 halves, so 1 is made up of 2 halves. So we have 6 halves and a half, 7 halves. So 17 and a half, that's it, we're done. 17 and a half over 100, and since now we have the bottom to be 100, then the top is the percent, percent here. The question was, the, what, what percentage is silver? The answer is silver is 17 and a half percent. 17 and a half percent. What we're going to do now, what we're going to do now very quickly, is to add up all the percentages of all the metals and make sure that they add up to 100 as a verification quickly. It should not take that long. Or can we do it? We can do it right here, as a matter of fact. Let's start with copper. Copper, copper we know is one quarter. Copper we know is one quarter, which is 25%. Very simple, very straightforward. Nickel is also very easy. Nickel is one fifth. Nickel is one fifth, which is going to be nice 20%. So that's also very simple. How about 3 8? 3 8 is iron. 3 8 is iron. How much is 3 8? 3 8, what can we do with 3 8? Let's do it here. 3 8 is same as 2 8 plus an eighth. 2 8 is just a quarter. 2 8 is just a quarter, which is 25%. And 1 8, 1 8, since 2 8 is a quarter, which is 25%, 1 8 will have to be half of 25%, because 25% is 2 8, which is a quarter. Half of 25% would have to be 1 8. Half of 24 is 12. Therefore, half of 25 is going to be 12 and a half. Turns out that 3 8, turns out that 3 8 is 37 and a half percent. Let's put it here. 37 and a half percent. We are not quite done yet. And finally, we have to add up, let's keep everything separate here. It's getting to be too crowded. Let's have a demarcation here. Now we have to add up the 17 and a half percent that we are claiming is silver to make sure that all they, they add up to they are up to 100. Silver, which we were told, which we found out to be 7 over 40, 7 over 40, which we're claiming to be 17 and a half percent. Let's see what they are up, shall we? Let's hope and pray to God that they are up to 100. 7 plus 7 is 14, 14 plus, one, 14 plus 5 is going to be 19, and then we have a 1 here, half and a half. So again, 7 plus 7 is 14, 14 plus 5 is 19, 19 plus 1 is 20, that's 2, carry 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is, uh, 8 plus 3 is, we got a problem here, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is uh, not 8, is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, and then 1, 10. Turns out that our answer is correct, 17.5% is correct because it adds up to exactly 100%. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.